going to start with my newest sulcata. Her name is Ramona. We aren't sure how old Ramona is, but um, she clearly is not a full-grown female, and we are not even 100% sure she's a female. That's kind of just what we were told. Um, and so far, that's what it appears. But she's up here in my room with me as she gets herself uh, adjusted. She will be going outside um, as summer progresses, which we are always very excited about, them getting out there and stretching their legs. But yeah, um, that's Ramona. So she's new. She's quite large, as you can see. Um, very friendly. Always hungry. So Ramona is out all the time, which is why she has a diaper on. And as you can see, this is like where she eats. And like her lamp and everything is right there in the corner. She has a basking area. That's where she eats. She also has a bowl, like a dog bowl. But um, yeah, so that was Ramona. Now we're going to sneak over here just because it's really close. Um, and I'm going to show you. See if This is my new... Amazon tree boa. It's a orange phase, I guess, or is what it's called. Me and my girl, like my best friend, we both bought two of the like almost identical ones. So we each got one. They're super cute. They're eating really good already. I'm going to open it up. And he is back there in the corner. I mean, these guys are just adorable. He's doing so good, too. Like, I've been really happy with him. Um, it's late, so we're not going to get him out or anything, but I'll show you more next time. He's basically, I was recommended to me to put him into a quart tub. Uh, let's see how many quarts this one is. This is a 30-quart tub. It was recommended to me to keep him in this initially um, because, one, uh, I can check him for mites because I have paper towel as my substrate. I have one of these. It's actually a cricket waterer, but for, for such a small, tiny snake, this works great to help keep humidity in here all the time since the paper towel dries out really quick. I do miss this down at least twice a day, um, but still, that little cricket water keeps water in there all the time and never dries out. And he can't knock it over. So that works really well, actually. Now we're going to jump right down here. Okay, this first, okay, just as a disclaimer, this first tub that I'm going to show you, this is not my snake. This is my best friend's snake, but I'm going to show it to you because it's beautiful. Um, but we bought them earlier, so it's here for the time being. It's going to her place um, very soon. But anyways, let's show this to you. This is an albino red tail. Well, that's what the guy told us. Um, let's see here. That's, that's the baby. It's very pretty. It's a male. Um, you know, she did not get this animal to breed or anything. This animal is purely a pet. Um, I don't really have any information. It's not my snake, but I wanted to show it to you guys because it's gorgeous. There's a heat pad under there. That's what's keeping her him warm currently. Is that nice big heat pad. Um, the second thing I want to show you I also bought today. Um, this is a female red tail boa. I bought this animal for the educational shows that I do. Um, I Sorry, I wanted a really nice big snake that I could um, take with me to my shows. That way I could show children, let people hold her and touch her and all that good stuff. Um, so she's nothing, you know, special. She's just special to me because she's really friendly. So we're going to open this up. I re like, really don't want to disturb her too much. Um, I just want to kind of give you guys a quick, quick thingy. So, uh... I'm sure nobody's ever seen this before, but I use, I use, um, these, I guess they're supposed to maybe be like laundry baskets or something, but I use them for hides, for like really big snakes and tortoises and stuff, and they actually work pretty good. I hope you guys can see it under here. It's like this upside down laundry basket thing. It works really good. I don't know if you can even like see her. She's hiding under there. Well, now I just got our water dish all gross, but it's worth it to show you guys. Let me see if we can find her. I 
can't find her head. She's wrapped all the way around. There you go. I don't have a name for her yet. Um, you know, we got to get to know her, see what her personality is about. All that kind of good jazz. I'm going to cover her back up. I don't want to disturb her too, too much. She is in a massive, um, like, Christmas tree tub. Um, and I'm actually using what I think is like, um, maybe like a chicken water dish or something. I got it at Tractor Supply. It's like this giant rubber bowl. Um, basically, the uh, reason I like it is because there's no way she can knock it over or anything. So it's really, really stable, um, which is awesome. And she can actually fit inside of it. It's, it's just massive. I really don't know what it is, though. I think they feed, like, horses in them and stuff. It's not the bucket kind, though. Like, that's what I use for my horse, so I'm not really sure what it's designed for. Livestock food thing. Okay, we're going to run over here. Because I want to keep this video kind of short. This is my new um, peach throat monitor. This is his temporary enclosure. Um, it's a really tiny little tank, but this is what the guy had told me to put him in until I get him feeding and acclimated um, properly because he is kind of tiny. I'm not going to try and bug him too much. I actually had his nighty on, his nightlight on, but I turned this light on because I wanted to show him to you guys really quick. Let's see. I know where he is because he's probably sleeping already. I guarantee you he's under his log somewhere. Yeah, that's where he is. Yep. There's the crazy little baby. He is just freaking adorable. Like, I am in love with this animal. He's been nothing but, like, awesome for me. I've had no issues with him um, eating or anything. He's just been a little hog. He's been doing great. Um, drinking. He was so thirsty when I got home. Um, but yeah, doing really, really good. He is a 20-gallon and also a 40-gallon sitting downstairs for an upgrade. Um, but yeah, he's going to stay in here probably for another couple days. But yeah, that's where he is. Uh, this isn't really like a new... Um, reptile but it is an arachnid it's a new tarantula it's a king baboon um it's probably hiding right now but anyways he was kind of like a throw-in I guess you could say um f because I spent a bunch of money at one place at one location so they just kind of like threw this in there for me which was fantastic I always appreciate when dealers um offer to you know hook me up if I am willing to pay full price for an animal and I don't try and bargain. It's always nice if they're willing to throw something else in or give me some money off. The last animal I'm going to show you up here is another Amazon tree boa. This one I've had a little bit longer. Um, the reason I brought him up here is because he's been really having a hard time shedding. So um, I had to move him upstairs to a tub that I could control his humidity in a lot better because it doesn't dry out as much up here. So this is what he looks like. Um, he has no issues eating. He just has been having a hard time shedding, which is why, I, like I said, I brought him up here. That way he could be in this tub in a really warm environment, super humid. It's really going to help a lot. Um, he's been doing much better since he's been up here. He is in quite... A large tub as you can see like this thing is really really big for him he is not a very big snake at all so he's got plenty of room in there he'll probably stay in here for a while until we figure out his problems with his shedding and stuff okay guys so that is it